All right, in today's video, I'm going to walk you through site links extensions and essentially explain what they are, what they do, uh, how they can benefit a campaign, and really why you should be using them. So site link extensions on a basic level, what are they? It's essentially a link to another part of your site in the form of extension. So as you can see here in the example, they did, a, they did a really good job with this. And this is your main ad up here if you're using a search campaign. And down below here, you can see 2420, Money Transfer Services. These are your site link extensions. And it essentially allows your customer to go to a separate landing page or web page on your website. And answer the questions they may be having so maybe your first ad doesn't really resonate with them but the second or third thing that really answers their problem and they're going to click on this now it's absolutely fantastic way to one boost click through rate because your ad is much bigger and two really answer the customer's problem if they have one because it gives you another chance to answer it in another extension or another ad essentially so they're absolutely phenomenal to use that being said what should you be thinking when creating them and I really follow a simple process is what is relevant to the customer's problem? If people have the same problem over and over again about your service, generally you can figure out those problems and there's only a handful of them. And you can really use your site like extensions to further answer those problems and guide your prospect to where you want them to go. So maybe, you know, the guarantee is a very important aspect to what you're selling. You could have a extension dedicated to that. You could have one for all of your awards, all of your testimonials, maybe a gallery, um, all of the stuff that really answers your customer's problem. And doing this, you really want to take up as much space as possible. So make sure the headline is as big as possible. The description below it is as big as possible and really make your ad as big as possible because if you can make it bigger, you take up more real estate, it's more likely to get clicked on, the more likely it is to get clicked on, the higher your ad quality score is gonna be, and that's gonna lower your cost per click and lead to more success in your campaign. One thing I generally recommend against is do not send them to generic pages. Don't send them to your home page. Don't send them to your basic contact us page with no information about you there. Uh, you really want this to make you really want this to be as specific to the customer's problem as, problem as possible. Uh, this is because the more specific you can be, the more likely they are, they are to contact you, whether it's through your, your phone number or email inquiry. So make sure it's very specific. Don't just put homepage. Don't just put services. Don't put, you know, contact us, just basic stuff. That's going to lower your click-through rate as well as your conversion rate. Now, benefits of site-like extensions. The one thing that's awesome about site link extensions is they take up a bunch of space, meaning people are more, like to see, more likely to see your ad and more likely to click on it, meaning your click-through rate is going to go up, your quality score is going to go up, your cost per click is going to go down, and you're going to get more leads, and your account is going to be more successful. So they're tremendous if you use them properly. Uh, another thing is it also allows for an easier buying journey for the customer, like I said before. If your customer can just kind of skip to the issue they're having, they can bypass a whole bunch of stuff, make their journey simpler, make them more likely to contact you because the, the entire process is easier for them, right? And that's gonna boost your conversion rates and lead to more happy customers. Now, uh, I get asked, do they always appear? No, they don't always appear. And that's why it's important to have a high click-through rate and A-B test your ads and make sure they're good and relevant to the customer. That way your ads that way google is more likely to show these extensions and essentially it's a you know a snowball effect where if you have a good basic quality score from your basic ad google is going to show the extension and then you're going to get a higher click through rate because the extension creates an even higher click through rate and then that leads to lower cost per click and it's a giant snowball effect and it's great but that being said no they don't always show up in your ad uh make sure your ad is always being a b tested you're always trying to optimize it to make Google show them as much as possible, but it's really up to Google's interpretation whether or not it likes your ad. And that's why it's good to be on Google's good side. The next thing is, should you use them? And yes, you should use them provided you have relevant landing pages or websites, uh, website pages. If you don't, it really doesn't make any sense to use them because you're just gonna send them to a random page yeah, you could still boost your click-through rate, but it's going to be a very bad customer experience, which will affect your how Google sees your landing page experience, and that'll probably negatively affect your campaign in the long run. So make sure you have relevant landing pages or web pages if you're going to use them. They're a fantastic asset to your campaign, 
uh, if you use them properly. If you just send them to basic web pages or landing pages, they're going to be terrible and they're not going to work well. Now, to actually access the landing page or sorry, site like extensions, you're going to come over to your Google Ads account. You're going to come down to ads and extensions. You're going to click on extensions. You're going to click on the plus button. You're going to click on site link extension. And now you can add site links to three different things. First is the account. I recommend not doing this in case you have multiple services you're offering. So say you install windows and doors and you also do, I don't know, paving. It's going to look really weird if you have site links extensions that are meant for paving but they're also being applied to you know, windows and doors. It's just not gonna make any sense. So I recommend not applying it at an account level. I recommend doing it at a campaign level or even an ad group level, depending on how specific you wanna be. Uh, that being said, you can create a new one, use existing one. In the text, you can essentially answer the customer's problem, what they may be thinking of, what they might have you know, coming around in their brain. Uh, that's essentially what you wanna use in the text link essentially answer a possible problem they may have and give them as many reasons to click on your ad as possible. So maybe it's, you know, guarantee, maybe it's testimonials, maybe it's um, certified installers, maybe it's 24 seven service. I don't know what your customer's problem is, but if you do make sure you put it in your site links and make sure it's very relevant to them. The description would essentially go over what you would find on this page and why they should click on it. Uh, the final URL, you need to make this different for every single site link, and this directs them to the actual page they're going to. Uh, another thing is you're allowed up to, I believe it's six site links on a desktop version and eight on a mobile version. So add as many site links as possible. This will allow Google to A-B test them and really allow for the best results. Because if Google can A-B test them, chances are you'll find the winners fairly quickly and Google will you know, continuously boost your click-through rate, which drops uh, your cost per click and then your whole account is going to be successful. Uh, other options include the site link URL options. So if you're running a third party tracking service, uh, you insert it in here. If you're not doing that, which most people don't, uh, you can just ignore this. The last, last thing here is extension scheduling. So say you only wanted to show extensions for a certain part of the day or maybe certain days of the week, you can edit this here. I don't really see any reason you would want to run your ads without the extensions. Maybe there are, I don't know of any, but that's where you would place it and you'd edit it in here. I recommend just leaving them on whenever your ads are running for best results. That being said, you hit save and your site link extensions are added. So hopefully this explains site link extensions in detail. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, leave them down in the comment section down below. I'd love to answer them. Other than that, you guys take care of and have a wonderful day.